Now also this week, Tesla provided more information about their autonomous driving technology, both the hardware and software that is getting installed into most of their new cars. And one of the things that they plan to do with this autonomous system is allow owners of Teslas to send their cars out and do Uber rides, essentially, that would be managed by Tesla. And Tesla would share the revenue from that ride with the owner of the car. Except you, the owner, doesn't have to get in the car to actually let the car do its thing. And their hope is that they can uh, offer a service that's much less expensive than Uber. And given that there are a lot of Teslas out there, uh, you could basically have a network already in place without having to hire any drivers to do it. Now, I don't know how much regulatory approval they have to go through in each state to make this happen, uh, because clearly I think states will want to make sure that these cars are safe and can operate autonomously without any issues. My issue would be, though, allowing strangers into my car without any supervision in that vehicle. They probably won't be able to take over the car and drive it someplace else, but who knows what they might do with the car when they get into it. So I think that's going to be the biggest hurdle for Teslas, how many owners are going to be willing to uh, let strangers in their car unattended. And I was thinking about the uh, Turo uh, service, which allows people to rent other people's cars. And on the Tesla Model S Owners Club Facebook group, there's a horror story here about this guy who bought a 2016 Model S and one of his renters crashed the car, and he asked for some experiences that other people may have had with their Teslas getting totaled, but also what their experiences with Turo were. And there were some real horror stories here, including this guy who had uh, rented out his BMW. A woman got into a fender bender, didn't tell him, gave the police his uh, car insurance, uh, and it became a real mess for him. And I think many others have had uh, similar problems as well. Now, one of the things that Tesla is doing for this service is installing a camera in the rear view mirror housing inside of the car. And apparently that camera is used for sentry mode, which is their security system. But Elon Musk also said that uh, they're going to be monitoring passengers in the car to make sure that they don't damage it while they are getting one of those autonomous rides. So this is going to be interesting to see how all this plays out. I think 2020 is a stretch. I think the software might be somewhat workable at that point, but I can't see any state or any jurisdiction allowing these cars driving without any human intervention this soon. Now, Tesla has been the most aggressive automaker designing autonomous systems, and my pick of the week this week is a live stream that they posted about that work. They have uh, kind of unveiled some of the things that they're doing with autonomy, including a brand new GPU that they developed for this purpose. And it looks like it might actually be ahead of some of their uh, competitors, namely NVIDIA, Intel, and others, insofar as what it can process uh, in a given time. And they talk about their philosophy as it relates to autonomy, uh, why they don't use LiDAR, for example, and rely on video cameras to provide the data to the system. Uh, they also talk about uh, how the software works and all the different things that have been going into this development. And it's pretty remarkable how quickly they've gone from zero to this, because what happened a number of years ago was uh, Tesla, of course, introduced their autopilot feature that used existing off-the-shelf lane-keeping technology involving radar and cameras. The supplier of that technology cut Tesla off because they didn't like what they were doing with their tech. They didn't think it was designed to be an autonomous driving system. So Tesla went out and uh, designed it themselves. And uh, most new Tesla vehicles have the hardware to make this work. Some might have to get upgraded to this new computer system, but apparently everything rolling off the line right now, whether it's a Model S, X, or 3, uh, will have this new hardware inside. And once they uh, send the software to you, apparently the cars will begin autonomous driving once they feel like it's prepared enough for uh, the public to start playing with. And I think this is dangerous for the company because it will be kind of a beta rollout as it happens. Uh, it's, you know, 99% of the way there, but it's always those extra 0.9s there that become a big issue. And we'll have to see exactly what happens. There undoubtedly will be some accidents and bad press about it. And that's one thing that Tesla has been uh, not as concerned about with their systems versus other automakers. Uh, when I was at CES a few years ago, there was a self-driving car that was doing parking lot rides. And I went on this thing, and it felt really good. It felt like it was really able to navigate things well. It stopped for a pedestrian that walked in front of the car. 
and it was a production vehicle. And I asked the uh, representative from the car manufacturer, hey, why aren't you just making this happen right now? And they said, we're really nervous about being the first out of the gate with this. We don't want to be the first autonomous driving accident, and we don't want to be blamed, even if it wasn't our fault for our cars running people over. Uh, but Tesla doesn't have those fears, and they're really, really pushing this aggressively. So stay tuned. We're going to see this uh, rolling out very shortly to Tesla owners, and shortly thereafter, they might try to launch this taxi service. And the real question is the regulators, and we'll have to keep an eye on all of that. So we, some fun things to keep an eye on uh, as this year develops. This channel is brought to you by the Lon.TV supporters, including Gold Level supporters, the Four Guys with Quarters podcast, Tom Albrecht and Kalyan Kumar. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.